Unprecedented ocean warming is killing Florida's coral reefs in a race against time to save them with teams in the Florida Keys now on a coral rescue mission. They're transplanting precious coral samples from shallow, warm water to deeper, colder water. Scripps News National Correspondent Clayton Sandell takes us on their journey. Here in the Florida Keys, the ocean is heating up, hitting unprecedented high temperatures, and all of that heat is bad news for the iconic corals that are so important to the environment and the economy here. So now researchers are launching a desperate rescue mission to try and save as many corals as possible. Ken Niedemeyer and his crew are headed to sea for an urgent rescue. Just offshore near Key Largo, Florida, a small armada of boats gathers for an unprecedented mission. Saving corals in danger. This is why coral experts are so worried widespread bone white patches of bleached coral. Scientists say unusually warm ocean water is stressing the tiny animals to their breaking point. We've seen temperatures hit 93, 94 degrees on the bottom, which in terms of recorded data history is unheard of. If a coral bleaches, it doesn't mean it's dead, but if conditions don't approve and it can't recover within a couple weeks to a month, it will die. The main driver of warmer oceans, say climate scientists, is us. Humans burning fossil fuels are cranking up the planet's thermostat, and about 90% of that heat is absorbed by the oceans. When I first started coming down here, it was a magical paradise. Niedemeyer is considered the godfather of coral reef restoration. He's been diving the Keys since 1969 and says this year is the worst he's ever seen. And they go from a brown color to a clear color. The tissue's clear. And when that happens, they're basically starting to starve to death. Today, Niedemeyer and his team are doing something that once seemed unthinkable. We kind of came up with this idea. Like, what if we took them to deeper water? Led by NOAA, divers are mobilizing to quickly gather corals from shallow underwater nurseries like these and transplant them into deeper, cooler water. These are healthy coral. Well, they have a nice brown color to them. You know, this is the color they should be. What is the temperature difference between here and there? Three or four degrees temperature difference. That's not a lot. That's not a lot, but it's enough for them. The corals are loaded on board. And the team has less than an hour to race them to their new home. So divers have just gone into the water. They're taking the corals down to anchor them in this deeper nursery. The water temperature here is about 87 degrees. Not much difference from where they just came from, but the scientists are hoping it'll give these corals a fighting chance. We're trying a lot of different things because there's so much at risk here. Every day I'm out here, it's like I'm getting more and more nervous about leaving anything here, but I don't have any other options. Coral reefs are often called the rainforest of the sea, supporting a quarter of all sea creatures, creating barriers that protect against storm surge and contributing nearly $10 trillion a year to the global economy. In the Florida Keys alone, which bills itself as a diving and fishing paradise, reefs are worth $8.5 billion a year, supporting more than 70,000 jobs. But climate scientists report if global air temperatures rise just a few degrees, virtually all corals would be wiped out. It could happen by 2050. I still think there's hope. There's still, there's still pockets where it's beautiful and fantastic. Niedermeyer says one key to survival is finding and growing the corals that are more resilient to the heat. We have some down there that are just as happy as can be. It's like, bring it on. I love hot water. And then others are like, it's too hot, too hot, you know, <laughs> like this. <laughs> the plan is to eventually return the corals to where they belong, but it may be September before the water cools down enough. Niedermeyer hopes the plan will work, but says the future for corals, especially in a warming world, is still murky. I hope my grandkids can see it. I want them to experience it, what I've seen. And I hate the thought of my generation screwed it up for the next generation. Clayton Sandell, Scripps News, Key Largo, Florida.